you got to figure there's going to be pucks laying around the front of that San Jose Shark goal crease. We'll keep an eye on that, and we're going to get a face-off or a fight right off the opening face-off. Get in on top of this San Jose defense in the early going. I, I mentioned, i say two of their top three defenders not in the lineup tonight. Nick Benino, the one-time duck, one hands a backhander on net, and at last Stolarz is able to cover it up. Nick Panino the other way, trying to go wide on Adam Henrique. Pulls up in the right corner, feeds it back. Brent Burns filters it through. Stick save, Stolarz couldn't cover it up, and it's centered right back through. All the way to the right point for Burns again. His shot redirected over top of the net by Cogliano. Threw it up the boards and went to the bench for a change. From the left point, Vlasic misses the mark. Long shot comes through from VL on the far, or excuse me, Malash on the far boards. When the player mishandles that puck at the moment of truth, you know, you're just expecting that that's something that's not going to happen with these elite players. Here come the Sharks with numbers. Couture cutting in off left wing. He scores! He beats Stolar short side, and San Jose strikes first. And he couldn't get back up. and certainly couldn't get back into the play. And this is a veteran goal by Logan Couture. Hampus Lindholm's taking the pass. And he's saying, you know what, he's outside the dot, I'm going to let him. But it, it's a half-stride shot by Couture. Loose in the neutral zone, Terry pounces on it, and he'll make a little drop pass to Henrik, whose backhander is gobbled up by such by Brent Burns. Watch this. Watch how far Brent Burns comes, and that long reach of his prevents a real good scoring. Cross-ice outlet pass, hit Gregor, Cogliano pounces. One time Duck hooks it back to the line, Middleton across, Ryan Merkley shot, boy, I don't think Stolar saw that till the last moment, he got a stick on it. Back they come, Gadjevic throws it down low, Benino got a stick on it, up the wall it comes to Milano, two on one with Zegris. Sonny Milano in on left wing, fires off the crossbar! So the first break goes to Sachenko as this one is floated from the line by... Lindholm over top of the net. Milano, he was a lot of stick handling, but not moving those feet. The Sharks were catching up on him. And he had that short side top corner picked, he thought. But he just missed by an inch or two. Just really giving up 20 power play goals a game. So Shattenkirk came off the boards with that puck. Couldn't slide it across. And Hurdle shorthanded forces Stolarz to make a save. Looks up, doesn't take the shot. Instead, it's Zegras who does. It trickles right to the goal mouth. Terry got a stick on it. Couldn't get it on net. Tried to get it back to Silverberg. It pops in the air. The penalty is over, and I believe we got a hand pass call. Along with Henrik. Terry into the middle. Comtois got it through, and that's gobbled up by Sawchenko. And numbers for the Sharks. Short-handed. Cogliano hits the brakes across to Middleton. Saved by Stolarz, and then thrown below the goal line on net by Couture. Net before his defense gets there in time to help him out. Middleton short-handed with a good opportunity with to Terry cuts to the middle gets it back cuts to the middle again drops it off and reeks shot kick save rebound there for Steele and he tumbles as he tries to take it to the right of the goaltender angle between the heel of the defenseman stick and his feet he makes a couple of moves here puck gets to Sachenko and Sam Steele tries to just stuff it around him Take a look at the injury to Isaac Lundestrom there as we get set to begin the second period. In those three Anaheim power plays, they managed just one shot on goal, Brian. As Comtois is spilled off the faceoff and the Sharks to center ice. Enrique disrupts in the logo. Terry picks it up. Troy hands it off. Here's Comtois. Pulls it to his forehand. Score! I think, I think it went Adam. off of the post or off of the goaltender, and it was Henrique who converted the rebound. Watch this pass. Sees Comtois again between the heel of the stick and the toe of the skate of the defender. The shot by Comtois, I think it's stopped by the goaltender, yep. And Adam Henrique driving that far post. He's with Burns, and it goes off the body of Henrique into the back of the net. Shattenkirk careful on the backhand. And up the boards, he got it only as far as Grant. Knocked down Gadjevich for San Jose. Cuts right to the slot penalty coming up to the Ducks. 
Malosh keeps it on the far side across now for Vlasic. And that shot went off a duck defender and in. It hits Shattenkirk. Just floated towards the net by Vlasic. At about the hash mark and goes in. Shattenkirk was going to get a penalty right there for the hook on Gajovic. But then keep it going and keep an eye on 22 black. He's just kind of roaming back towards the net. And an inadvertent bounce off the right leg of Kevin Shattenkirk. No chance for Anthony Stolarz. A backhander by Barabanov doesn't get through. Here comes Zegras the other way. Trailing the play. Fowler picks it up three on one. Sends it over. Dust it off and fired wide by Milano. Back to the net. Zegras and just sliding to his right. Sawchenko got there in time. Yano didn't get it out. Shattenkirk keeps. Drops it back for Fowler. Back to Fowler, one-time blast off of Sachenko, loose in front, Milano scores! Sonny Milano found the loose change, it's a brand new hockey game. The key for me, John, is Adam Henrique in front of the net. He sets the screen, he creates an issue digging for the rebound, and you saw both Shark defenders focusing on Henrique. Milano comes in, digs it out of the pile, and chips it into a wide open net. Good hands by Milano, but... It was Henrik paying the price down low that contributed greatly to that goal. Real vulnerable. Well, remember they played last night, then flew here from San Jose. So this is the back end of back-to-backs for the Sharks in the third period of that second game is typically when we see fatigue in block shots. Milano across the line on right wing, drops it off. Zegers cuts to the slot. Rebound! Oh, Milano hit the side of the net. Oh, and everybody's kind of jumping into holes. Here was Milano's rebound chance. And before Middleton could turn and find that puck, Sonny Milano did, but tough play for him. That puck. Shattenkirk's pass hit the back skate of Zegras, and now two on one short handed. Here come the Sharks. Nieto to Middleton. He scores! That's offside. And, wow, and it's Middleton who's offside. Here After we go. The coach's challenge is determined the play was offside prior to the goal. But what a boost this will give San Jose. It's another block shot. I don't know if it was Benino or Middleton. Both of them so good at that. And boy, you know what? Matt Niano makes a nifty little feed. Watch this little pass over the stick of Fowler. A little saucer pass. And Middleton takes a page. Out of the book of Logan Couture and just kind of shovels that puck five hole. Mark Edward Vlasic back to get it. Up the boards, Terry intercepts, pulls it into the middle. Got a shot away, dropped by Sawchenko and the rebound rolls just wide. Fowler from out of his own zone misses on the pass up the middle intended for Milano. Middleton has it again for San Jose. Long stretch pass. Finds Couture, his shot blockered away. Big rebound for Meyer, and Stolarz got across. Burns from center, blockered aside by Stolarz, and it comes all the way to Comtois. Max takes a look, gets the legs going, gets center red, sends it into the San Jose zone, and we will have bonus hockey tonight. And Timo Meyer to begin for the Sharks, and the Ducks win the all-important opening draw. Yeah, Henrik's over 70% now in the face-off circle in this game. Troy Terry stretches it off the bench. It's Raquel on a change. He scores! Oh, sneaky play by the Ducks. Henrique won the draw, went to the bench to one door to change. Raquel came out the other and gets the game winner. Watch Adam Henrique, right side of your screen. He's going to the bench. Is it on? And then you see Ricard Raquel. Is it onside is the question. The officials are huddling right now.